Welcome to a TUSD Robotics production, how to import part files into Onshape. In order to import the VEX part files into Onshape, first of all, you need to be using a computer. An iPad doesn't have the ability to download this zip file that we're sharing with you, so we will import the part files for you if you're using an iPad and share the document. If you're using a computer, we're going to share a zip file or a link to a zip file in Google Drive that's called Devin Ho's VEX part library. Devin Ho was a TUSD robotics student for many years and has helped us figure out how to use Autodesk to make virtual robots. But we're going to use his same part folder to upload different parts into Onshape. So the first thing you're going to need to do is click the blue download button and you will see that it begins to download at the bottom of your screen. And it's actually gonna take a little while because the zip file is very large. CAD files can take a lot of memory. So it's okay if, you do not, if you're not able to scan for viruses, go ahead and click download anyway. And you'll see that this takes quite a while to download and that is even when it's zipped. A zipped folder means that the files are compressed. When files are compressed, they're smaller and they're much easier to transfer from computer to computer. So now if I open my Finder window on a Mac or my File Explorer window on a PC, I can look in my Downloads folder and I can see the zip folder that was downloaded. So now I'm going to move that zip folder from the Downloads to the Desktop so that I can open it up. Now here's a picture of the zip folder on my desktop. I'm just gonna double click it to open it up and it's going to unzip, meaning that's gonna decompress all the files and put them into a regular folder that we can use. Once the folder unzips, I can go ahead and get rid of that original zip file. I'm just gonna move it to the trash. And if I open up this folder now, you can see that there are a ton of different folders within the folder. So we've got custom parts, looks like a license plate. Uh, we've got legacy electronics, which is what we used to use. These would be our old motors and brains that we no longer use. We now use V5. Here you can see the different types of wheels. You can see that there are structure folder with all the aluminum, uh, different widths of aluminum. So we did a two by aluminum C channel in our first practice lesson, but you can see all of the different lengths are here. Now you wouldn't want to import all of these into your on shape document because it's just too much memory and you really just only want to import the parts you're going to use. Okay, so now let's talk about how we get these parts into Onshape. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna create a new document. I'm gonna call this one chassis because I'm gonna build the subsystem of a chassis. So the first thing I'm gonna do, you can see I have already an assembly file and a part studio that comes with this new document that are blank. But I wanna import using this plus symbol in the bottom left corner, some new parts. And so I can navigate to the desktop and see the Devon Ho part file and I can see all those folders we just walked through. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the structure folder and go to the two by aluminum C channels and I'm gonna import the one by two by one by 25 C channel. Now this is a single part and I know that so I'm not gonna check this box about creating a composite. Creating a composite means that you're actually putting multiple parts in a part file together. So I don't need to do it for this one. You can see now at the bottom of your screen that a new part has been added to your files. So the one by two by one by 25 is now a part file that is within the document. And here we go, here's our aluminum C channel. Okay, let's do this one more time. I'm gonna import another file from our Devon Ho part folder and this time I'm gonna to navigate to the wheels. Now on my computer, I have to go to the top of my finder window and I have to go back to the main folder, Devon Ho's part folder. So once I go ahead and open that up and go back to the main folder, I can now go to the motion folder where the wheels are contained. So I'm gonna double click that motion folder and then double click the wheel folder and now I'm gonna import the four inch Omni wheel. Now this time I'm gonna check this box that says create a composite part because I want this part to be all constrained together. 
Now in the last video I showed you we had to constrain the inner part of the wheel and the outer part of the wheel. So this time I want to bring it in all as one piece. And this takes a little bit longer because it's trying to translate this assembly, basically, all these other little parts into one composite part. So now when I open up this new wheel part file, you can see that I'm trying to move those little rollers and they're already constrained to the rest of the wheel. So this is a composite part. So there's a little bit of a difference when you insert a regular part and a composite part. So you can see here I'm inserting the aluminum C-channel and then in order to import the wheel, I have to click this icon to the right which will show the composite parts. So now I can see the wheel in my list of parts that I'm able to insert. One thing that I did find is that the V5 part files in Devon Host part folder do not import properly into Onshape because they are actually an assembly file, an IAM file. So you're gonna get an error code. But the solution to this is to go straight to the VEX website where they sell their products and you will see that there are CAD files for every single product that they sell. Just click the download button and then a step file, which is a type of CAD file, will be downloaded into your download folder. And then you're just going to import that file straight into Onshape. Now this type of file does need to be imported in a particular way. Otherwise, as you can see here, this is made of many different parts. The motor comes apart. It has an outer shell, it has the inner cartridge. And so it's gonna be very hard to work with this part unless it's created as a composite. Um, but there's an extra box you need to check. So let me show you how. Okay, so when I import the V5 smart motor, I'm gonna to go to the import menu. I'm gonna to navigate to my downloads and find that file that I just downloaded. I'm gonna go ahead and click open and here's the trick. You must check the box to create a composite part, but you also must check or highlight the box that says combine into a single part studio. That's the biggest trick to get this to come in as a single part. So you gotta make sure you have some patience because some of these files are pretty big and take a while to download depending on your internet connection. And also when you try to insert, uh, not only do you need to check that icon for composite parts to see your composite parts that were imported, but it may take a minute to see the part. So when I tap on that icon, if you don't see it right away, it might be generating a preview, but it will eventually appear. All right, I think that's the basics on how to import parts into Onshape to build our VEX robots. Good luck.